Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I'll be opening door number 17 of this year's LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar. But before we go any further, I'd like to thank Lakeside Gamer for being a new subscriber. Thank you very much, it's very much appreciated. And, I, and I'd like to thank my friend Chris, Wal Chris Walcott. For, for, thank you very much for supporting the channel. And there's your uh, the shout out, you'll get one at the end as well. Uh, so just so I don't forget. So this is this year's Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar for 2023. It's Lego set 75306. This is the front of the box. This is the back of the box. This is the drop down bit where you get your surprises. So we'll do a, do a quick recap. So we start off with Amiga from the Bad Batch on a sleigh, quite nice. I've got to say it's, it's, it's an indoor setting this year, so. Lots of indoor related stuff. I know we haven't seen the Ewoks yet, so they are, I even guarantee, I know, I know there's probably, uh, I think it's the glider and definitely an Ewok. Not sure if it's Wicket though, I think it's the other one. So, so there we have the Justifier, which is the Inquisitor ship from um, Obi-Wan, nice little mini build, uh, as, like I said before. Um, it's, it's nice to get these as mini builds because not everyone has the time, money, or space um, to, to have the big builds. Door number three, if I can find it. I should know where it is, but up here. Here's the Mandalorian's um, modified Naboo fighter, which is a really nice little mini build. It's the best one, I think it's the best looking one out of all of them, to be honest with you. Justifies is nice, but um, I've modded mine out a little bit more just so I don't lose the spare parts, but it does look good. It's, it just does what it's meant to do, doesn't it? So it's a nice, simple build, and it does what it's meant to do. I think it's a fact I haven't got the original as well, so. And we've got a Christmas maintenance droid in Christmas colours, a sack of presents, and a few modifications so I don't lose the spare parts. Door number five is a clone tank. So we've got, yeah, so a mini version of the clone tank, slightly modded out, you know, just had spare parts. Door number six, clone trooper. Quite a nice little, quite nice for troop builders, and he's got he's got a nice nice rifle with him. It's just overall a nice figure. You always get some like what I call troop builder figures. Door number seven, if I can get this open without doing a wrecking job again, is the clone flyer, which is quite quite a nice little mini build and probably go quite nice with any sort of um, clone with any with any clone stuff with any like if you clone troop builders, which is quite cool, or just use it as an outpost, or I could use it as one of those Star Trek chairs that get beeps as well. But. That's another story, that's a whole different universe. So, door number eight, the old trusty battle droid, Roger Roger. Yes, I'm doing that, yes, I, I, I probably will do that joke again and again, so do apologize. And so, an, another good one for troop building, um, maybe one next year in red and white, maybe, just makes a change, but, because these are a bit ten a penny troop builder wise, I think, I, th I do actually think you'd probably get a good, uh, you'd probably get a lot of people buying the advent calendar and thought they'd get a red and white one as well. You'd probably, you'd probably get all the advent calendars sold out in October when they come out, if, if people realise. So, And we've got a droid STAP, which is their flyer. This was seen in the Phantom Menace. Quite a nice little mini build, quite cool. Quite like that. Door number 10 is the Hailfire droid. This was seen in the Battle of Genosha in Attack of the Clones. A really nice, like, droid heavy artillery. It just does look good. I think, I think it goes that way or that way. Either, will, either way, it looks good, really. But I always quite like this one. I, I like the original build they did as well, because it really had some technic, um, done the technic Lego, if memory serves me, right? If I'm incorrect on that, do feel free to put a comment on the video and I will give you a shout out as long as you as long as you as long as it's constructive. Door number 11, the AAT, uh, which is the which is the droid battle tank, which is quite cool. As you see, it's got um, as you see I modded mine out a little bit more, so it's got 
so because I, I had two of these lightsaber pieces and not, wasn't much more I could do with them. So I, so I just, um, just pimped it up a little bit and modified the guns a little bit. It's got a little bit more forward firepower now, so happy days. Um, door number 12, which is the reindeer gonk droid, which is quite nice, my favorite droid. It's a power droid, but it's de um, done like, so it's been reindeered up, so it's got a red nose and with legs and a tail. It makes a lot more sense from when I first got it. I just thought someone just on indoor had just been messing around. Uh, door number 13, try and find it up here, is the Imperial Shuttle. I think it's the, T, the T4 Imperial Shuttle, so if I can get it out of here in one piece. So the more you do this, the, the more awkward it seems to get. I haven't had this problem yet so far, but I seem to be having it now. There we go. Actually, I modded mine up a little bit with some, because I had spare parts, I didn't want to lose them, so. This is a nice little mini builder, really, but they have done it before, so so that's the reason it doesn't quite win. And plus, it's a bit like I say, it's been done before. So, door number 14, which is Princess Leia in Endor gear. So, and so it's got a cookie and a blaster, quite a nice little minifigure. Haven't had many, we've only had two real proper minifigures so far, so these are just troop builders, they're, they're like raise more characters. So door number 15 is, I can do this very, very carefully. And uh, Ewok Village, done in mini scale, very nice. It's, it just, it, it does what it's meant to do without, without, without being to, over, over the top. I quite like it to be honest with you, so it's quite nice. Let's put that up here. Now we have door number 16, which is down here. And here we have an Imperial Bunker door, mini version of it. That's quite cool really. It does it does exactly what it's meant. It looks like what it's meant to look like. They've done it in, in a really small scale, but it does what it's meant to do. If you get those really small little figures, like they use for Iron Man and and trophies and stuff like that, it does. It it would fit, and it's it's nice. It does what it's meant to do, you know. Now it comes to the main event, which is door number seventeen, which is here, which is under nineteen. So we'll open this up, see what we've got. We have. It look. It's a Scout Walker, a an eighty. An AT Scout Walker, as seen. Um, I'm not sure if they were, I think they were seen in the original, originally in Empire Strikes Back, and then they had a, a bigger role in Jedi, and, and there, was, there, was definitely one in the, there was definitely one in The Mandalorian. I'm not sure when else they've been in Star Wars, because in the newer stuff, it all seems to blur. I'm not sure, uh, like, they have been used in the, I know I've seen them in Star Wars Rebels and stuff like that, but they, it was, it, there was definitely one in, in a Mandalorian episode, so. So we've got a Scout Walker. I'm trying to show you that properly. Like so. Oh, we've got some spare bits down there, as you can see. Should we get, i try and play guess where those come from. I think I might just leave, I think they're spare, uh, I think they're spare maintenance droid parts and I'm not going to mess around too much with that because that's going to cause me problems. Just a vibe I get. So we'll get on with this um, Scout Walker. So we start off with a green 3x2 base plate and then have two of these green one one plate with a female connector joint on. So one goes here and the other one goes the 
the other one's going to be a leg. So that one go attaches on the base there. Then we have a grey one, a grey one round piece with a male connector bar attached to it, and that attaches to each. So you do this twice. So one that attaches there, and one that attaches onto this one here, because this leg's going to have some movement to it. You have two of these grey two by one base plates with the um, male connector bar on it. On it, so these go on like so. So that's one leg, and the other leg is attached onto here, like so. Now we attach both legs to one of these green two by one base plates with two female connector joints on, and these go on. like so. Oh. And we have a grey, grey two by one plate with a stud in the middle. That goes on there like so. Oh. Oh. And then we have a green one piece. I'm sorry, I'll get rid of that. Sorry, I do apologise. A green one square, a green one piece that goes, green one piece with studs all round the top and the sides. And we have a two by one back plate with a stud in the middle that goes on there. Have two of these grey. I'll say three by one right angle um, angle plates. These go on like so. Let me double check. Yeah, like so. They go on there like that. They have a grey cheese piece which goes on the front. They have two of these blast, two of these um, air traffic control batons, which become the blasters, which are these ones here. These go on the sides, so they go on there together like that. And This is what it should look like on the bottom or by their instructions. We have a mini scout walk. It does, doesn't look too bad really. It looks okay and it's got the movement. And you can't really expect a lot. It's, it's, an, it's an ad Lego advent calendar at the end of the day. It's not a, a big build because there was a one the last scout walker, the, well, the scout walker the most memorable one they've done recently was the one from the Mandalorian which they had to pull because it had a uh, figure with it that was, I think you can still buy it in some places, but uh, I think because Cara Dune got pulled for having an, opin having an opinion on the Mandalorian, that's a ca character that pulled, so. Um, but I, th I, th I, think, I think the set got pulled as well, unfortunately. So, so if you get hold of that set, I th that, that's up there with the Lego Osprey, so. Uh, this is the original build. I'm going to modify my two with two spare parts by putting a spare gun on top because it looks silly and you can't open it, but uh, I don't want to lose those pieces. So there we have my modified version as well. So this is what we got, a ATST Scout Walker. So quite a nice little mini build really. Ideal for Endor because that's because um, that's where they really excelled. They were they were at the Battle of Hoth as well, but it was primarily the ATATs that did it. They're like they're like an ATAT cab with some with some weapons on, so and they move a bit faster than an ATAT as well. So or ATAT, which whichever variation you prefer, because uh, there are some people get upset by that. So. 
as long, as long as you appreciate it, that's the main thing in my opinion. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. If you have any comments or feedback on this video, do feel free to add them at the end of the video and I'll try to be mentioned on an upcoming video. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Threads. And so I'd like to thank everyone who, is, who supports the channel on, 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 on any of those media. It's thank you, thank you for doing it and th it's very much appreciated. Stay safe, keep building, and, for, and if you do have any comments, any constructive comments, do feel free to add them at the end of the video and I'll try to give you a mention. Again, stay safe, keep building, May the force be with you. Happy holidays and hope to see you on an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.